Mahlzeit, Freunde. I'm challenging myself today. I just realized that I won't have a lot of time in the next few weeks to edit videos. So I will try to talk you three, talk you three, talk you four. I will try to talk you through while I'm painting and then just do, you know, speed ups and blah. I guess I don't need to talk to you about it, but I just did. So whatever, let's paint something. Let me check though what I have on hand here because that's not very unimportant, is it? I have uh, this little piggy pigment in Lagoon. This is a tea leaf, more to the green side. So it's like the Amsterdam green turquoise. Nova colors. This is paint gray. I'm confident that this is by Golden. Heavy body, teal. Let's throw something interesting in there. My new favorite, Interference Gold. Nova cut. <laughs> Not as much anymore. Nova Interference Gold. Wait, they call it differently. They call it Super Pearl Gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I will try new cell activators. And I got my hands on some Tri Art. Um, higher vis viscosity, it's titanium white. Talking is hard today. Titanium white, carbon black, rose gold. Thanks Fluid Art Co. And I mixed those with Australian Floatrol. I found that it's very thin. It makes, um, I don't know if it's my flow troll again. It's the time of the year. So 321 is very thin. But I can just tell it reacts so fast. Wait. Can you? I don't know if you can tell, but the reaction on this is pretty good. Very promising. Okay, I have the black and the rose gold in my cell activator. Um, I'm gonna leave it with those colors and just paint away. Ah, I'm so... You don't always need to have a plan. I just said that, didn't I? Let me pour over an old canvas because I can. Yes, it's pretty, but it's gonna die. Let me flip you around. So that's my Glidden Essentials on my canvas. I've been using my cradled board mostly, and I started to really like canvas. I love this, the pattern, I love I don't know, it gives it something hmm, sophisticated. Let's start with just some black cell activator. It's the Tri Art cell activator. And some boom gel on top of that, just to get started and warmed up a little. And then I will try to achieve a minimal swipe, like so. Don't know what happened here. Not a lot of cell action. So far, I do like the tri art. It's very stretchy. See that? Ooh, nice. Um, not 
quite sure what I did here, what I'm gonna do. Um, this is kind of how I work, very intuitive. Sometimes I have an idea in mind, but also a lot of times my hand does what it wants to do and my brain does not have a say at all. Okay, oops, sorry. So black cell activator and I will add some of the paints gray there. On top of that, some of the interference gold. That's right here. And I will move it around a little bit. Oops, <laughs> and drip it on my painting. Well, stuff happens, right? So what I do usually is I have my first swipe on there and with the second I try to go with the flow of the first one if that makes any sense to you but I go like adjacent to it try to give it some company with another swipe on top this interference color. It's, it's pretty pretty. Time to use a smaller palette knife and I will use, um, since this is very dark, maybe I'll just see, oops, stop, stop, stop. See what the paint wants to do before I put another swipe on it. So pretty sure I will you uh, lose this. Love it though. So I will focus on this part and that could use some more details. So let me use our rose gold here. There. Put some black on as well. Just a little bit though. On top of that, I will put my lagoon, the teal, and then the interference gold. And then just a little bit of my paints gray. Uh huh. Okay. I'll go in here. some colorful details. At least that's the plan. I will do the same thing again. Rose gold cell activator, a drop of black, my lagoon, teal, and it's drops. It's seriously minimal okay let's go in here super light I just kind of want to know What's going on with everything? 
and if you press your palette knife all the way down there's no way you can figure that out like this okay let's do another one around here same way Mm -hmm. And then we'll go with the flow that's already on my canvas. I'm not trying to create anything new. I just try to uh, give it some more detail. And I can. Oh, that we need some more interest in here and in here. So one more load before I spin. What I'm doing first is loosen everything up. You get the best results, to me, the best results. When all your paint is moving at the same speed, which is why we want every color to have the same consistency because they will move the same way. If you have one color that moves slower and one or one color that moves way faster than the other, um, you probably get wonkers. And uh, personally, not a big fan. They are okay if intended, but I rarely intend them. So let's spin this guy. I really like this. Let me. Hmm. Move this over here a little bit. I guess my. I guess my pillow paint experiments did pay off a little bit. I definitely don't. I definitely haven't used too much in this one. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, yes, sir. I like it a lot. What can I say, guys? Uh, that was a quick one. I hope I um, made sense while I talked you through this. Um, I will get you down.
right now. And then, so this guys, um, there's gonna be a monochromatic tri art cell activator gonna happen soon, I betcha. And then look at the random but beautiful cells this created. Huh. Well, this is the rose gold. I wonder how it's going to dry. Because it's not. Right now, it just looks like a blush tone. Um, but that's the same if you use a gold, it's more yellow and brown and then once it dries you get to see all the sparkles. So I'm positive that's what's going to happen with this one too. I'm going to flip you around. What else can I say? Be good. Bye bye.